Hey everybody, welcome back to Age of Empires Online. I'm Sakasaurus, and recently there was a new patch, and a lot of stuff happened. So, yeah, new quest has been added, but it's only for two sifts, and the reason is, is you get a, a treasury for Celts well. and the Norse. Also, bad news guys, the Norse and Babylonians have been deleted. So no more of those sieves. Nah, just kidding. If that was just a bug and the sieves were just removed temporarily now that they are back in the game. But we're gonna... What the... What the... I'm so confused. There's so many. What is going on? What the... Why do I have two scouts? What is going on? Okay, so... The other gold mines. So I get two villagers in first gold mine and second gold mine. So I have to get villagers there. Okay. So yeah, because I have high level and it should not be a problem. I got some cavalry here. Why do I have cavalry here? There's so many buildings. And I'm like, what? The? Okay, we got a market as well. Okay, trade here. I don't care. There's so many villagers, what the? We got some trees, I don't know. Fishing boat? What is going on here? I don't know, we'll cut some trees. Why, why is there so much? I'm like, what am I gonna do? I got even trees here? Okay, how about we scout first? What is this? Like, there's so much. So we got some bandits here, or barbarians, or whatever these are. If I remember, those were supposed to have some gear. At least in the basic quest, I think they had. Well, whatever. Okay. How about we grab some of these? And what do I do with you? Got some houses, I don't know. There's so much! I don't know, where's everything? Yeah, attacking. With war leaders as well. Oh boy. Oh god, I have too many villages. Okay. Do I have armory? I have markets and two of those. And yeah, this is gonna be better. Okay, how about some? Is this walled off? It is walled off. How about we do some? Let's go then. Some armor? There is some armor. How about we go. Is this. Do we have something else? I don't guess. Let's just go grab it. Come on. Yeah, when I go this way. Okay, who cares? <laughs> There's so much stuff. Come on, 
some stone, I see some stone. I don't know about this. So I just have to get villagers there, is that it? Oh, what the? Okay, do I have the sacred grove? What? Wait, what? You give me so many buildings! Not a single... Sacred Grove? What? What is wrong with you, Celestine? Come on! That's a third one. Okay, can I leave them or...? Okay. Break it. There we go. You know what? I don't see anything. Let's build watch post. But it seems like there's no treasure camp, so. That's the Celtic quest. I suppose there's nothing more. Yeah, I suppose there's no chest, so let's go back. Through what I've re read, this quest is available once you reach level 7. We have much to discuss. Wait, we could really use those gold mines. Yeah, sure. Can I get some additional gold? Building quests. So, what did I get? Yeah. Now let's take a look what it looks like. <laughs> I like the lock. <laughs> hey, it's a nice building, yeah. Now where do I place it? Nope. Okay, how about here? Next to the advisors, they're greedy. Who knows? I cannot. <laughs> yeah, put it like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I'll find maybe some better place later. Okay, so this. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. So yeah, I'm gonna switch to... Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna switch to Norse now. Okay, so I'm at the Norse now. And here's the quest, the Dragon's Horde. And what do you say? If we are to survive the wars to come, we must take for these hours. Rumors are spreading that even beyond the land of the Celtic tribes, like yet more enemies that seek destruction, we must establish treasury. Blah blah blah. And beyond, awesome, blah blah blah. The story of three Celtic town centers that protect the what is right for the hours. Okay. Keep your sword sharp. Let's go then. Ooh. Hey, I don't... I 
hope this is not like one of those labyrinths. So what am I supposed to do? And what do these walls come to? Are we eating here? Okay. Chief must survive. So what's this X? Marks the spot. Okay, well, let's go just through here. Yeah, the, the town center, so the gold mines. Okay. Let's go, doggies. So. Uh oh. I suppose I need these. Were they always there, or um, did they just spawn or something? Oh yeah, this is a good time when <laughs> the Hulk's heavy speed of the undying is useful. Yes! <laughs> oh, what the? Ooh. Ooh, I like this part. Now, what do I do with you? I don't need you. But okay. Breaking it. Yeah, I could use the chief up. Two champions, all day that I don't care. They break it. Yeah, I need to remember where you are. Damn, both raiders. Okay, I think this area is clear. I should go ahead and do something. It's pretty much, yeah, very, very easy quest. Let's just. So is, is that a point of these horsemen? That's what I want to check. Why 
right up there and we got stuck. What are you doing to me? Why are you doing this to me? I don't know. Yeah, use that big hammer like that. So some buildings here, okay. Check what's over here. Why is this even here? And what's over here? Okay. I need to see what's over here. Is there anything? Or is this just... Just like that warning, don't break this. Mm, I suppose that is. Man, winter event. Coming back to me. Seriously, what's the point of this? What's the point of this? <laughs> Come on. Okay, I suppose this is just a trap, so don't go top, don't go left, go right. Here you will get your villagers, your army. Okay, let's check the reward. I knew you could do it. Well done, warrior. Oh, you we shall do celebrate your return. I've never seen this one. What is this armor? I have never seen this one. What is this? Me, <laughs> hero squares. I I don't think I've ever seen this. <laughs> Damage. Melee gallery armor, melee infantry armor. Well, that's a new one. Okay. Show me what we have here. Oh, it looks. Okay, there's the lock again. Yeah, I see the gold. Yeah, that, that looks cool, actually. That looks good. Anyway. Looks nice. Where do I keep it? Am I am I greedy or the advisor is not greedy? Or do I just hide it? Right up there. Okay. Yeah, so that's not all. There's more stuff actually in the patch right now. Some, some quests have been changed. The most important ones I want to mention are going to be the incursion quest. The first four quests you do in the Athens. For what I have read, they are supposed to be now easier and more fitting to the level 30 quests. I don't know, I think I'll check it maybe, but I don't really care right now. Another quest, and I. <laughs> and oh boy, that's actually a big change. So, it, if you do remember, I did Battle of Opis, and there were like the bridges, and those were like so narrow, you would just get stuck there if you did not have like some ranged units to actually help you deal with the army or splash on your infantry units or something like that so you will pretty much get stuck there now it's huge those bridges are huge and i suggest you check those out it should be easier for you those saves that actually don't have like good ranged units or don't have splash i think the first save that came to my mind were like babylonians so, well, yeah, it's more open. You don't necessarily need like splash to actually make your army strong for that quest. Another thing, and you can see it. There's a play button right there, and for that I'm gonna move somewhere first.
So pretty much, as you know, there's multiple game modes. You have PvP, you have like Creed, you have Skirmish. If before there was only PvP button, now you can open this, and guess what? You can access those modes right here. So you can go for Sparta, you can go for Arena, you have the Skirmish here. But you have to go to Cyprus for this, I don't know why. I'm not going to click that. Then you have to click. That's okay. Now that I'm here in Sparta, that's going to lead to another thing. So you can click here. This opens the same window you would open when you would click on the arena. See? Completely the same thing. Now, the most important thing I want to also mention is this PvP guide button. Now, you, you can open this, and if you want to play some PvP and learn how to play PvP, this is actually a pretty nice guide. I read just a few pages of this. Uh, yeah, there are very good uh, hints how to play it properly, how to become better. Not only for PvP, like, you have like these fundamentals and like, always make villagers. Avoid idle villagers. Spend your resources. But that's one thing I should do more. <laughs> yeah, so you can read this. There's also multiple pages down here, so for those of you who want to learn PvP, this is actually very nice. I suggest try reading this. Also, remember this. Do levels and gear matter? No, they don't. Not in champion mode, anyway. So, yeah, is there anything else I wanted to mention? I think... Oh, yeah. One very annoying thing. And for that, I'm gonna move to Babylon. So... As you might remember, I did few co-op only quests and I was playing them solo. Yeah. So, now there's a thing. They actually... You cannot launch these quests anymore. They removed the way. So, I'm gonna tell you how it worked actually. So pretty much you would get the quest. You would find it right here. Yeah, but you cannot launch it through here, right? You need to press the co-op, you would have to search for a co-op button or get a friend or something like that. Well, there, there was a little bug with that and you could actually launch this quest by finding it on the map and just double clicking. And that would be it. Elite version would be a little bit more tricky because for this, it just, for some reason, it just switches for s something else completely. So to launch that, Actually, you would have to like click somewhere else and then go for it for the double click. And that was the whole trick. So now you know how it could have been done. No longer it's available as you can see. So, it is my destiny. yeah, I cannot play this quest, which is annoying because I think this quest is actually the easiest co op quest of all I know. And currently, there is only in this quest. Plus the basic quest line, the one of the legendary quest and repeatable quest in Argus, plus the quest, basic quest line, and then there was line in the winter event, which I also did. But that one felt already unplayable solo because I had to use consumables to actually get it. But I was never able to like beat the ice king and I never tried that again. So I think that's all the important that I can that I'm thinking of. Also, yeah, the Norse and Babylonians were removed for <laughs> for a moment. Luckily they are playable again, don't worry. You, you could see I play Norse. So yeah, yeah, for some reason they were just removed and just Oh yeah, also the Greek for Greeks. Now nah, wait, it's not only Greeks, it's the Sea People flagship, the huge ship you could build in your home city. Yeah, now it's smaller. I don't know why. I guess I. The reason they put there was like so it fits like the sizes of the other ships you can build in your city. I feel like, eh. I mean, it's a flagship. It's supposed to be huge. Why is it so small now? Okay, I think that that's all I can come up with. Okay, incursions. 
Battle of Opus, try that. <laughs> like, check out Opus. I, it's why the bridges are huge. You might like that. Eh, I don't. I don't know about the Inquisitor. I I forgot. I completely forgot. That's one thing. Okay, I got it right here. It's this skip button. This is very important. So first of all, you need to have level 40 civilization, as you can see, level 40 civilizations only. And pretty much, you just skip the quest, you get the rewards. So if you read the description, skip the quest, level 40 civilizations only. When you skip a quest, you will still receive its rewards from its quest giver, but you will be unable to play it again. So careful with that. Only non-repeatable quests can be skipped. Global and repeatable quests cannot be skipped. Yay. Yeah, you pay in Empire Points if I remember. So if I click it, are you sure you want to skip this quest? You will still receive blah blah blah. And it costs 300 points. The cost, I've read it somewhere. And it's 10 Empire Points per required level, I think it's required level so if you have class of many, recommended level is 30 you have you have to pay 300 points very straightforward, yeah do I do this? I, I heard there's like some kind of bug, maybe a little bit yeah I think I'm gonna skip the 300 points, yeah I have enough, okay I'm gonna show you okay 3, 2, 1, let's go Quest skip successfully, speak to the quest giver to receive your rewards. Okay. So let's go check it out. So I have it like completed. Let's make it happen. See, I get the rewards. I get the next quest. Here are my chest, you can see it. But careful with that. Oh no, it does. Okay, I got it completed. Okay, that's good. Now, I've, I think I read somewhere that it, it might be a problem with this one, but I guess not. Okay, so it did count it for this one. So I guess it did, does count. So if you don't want to do the incursions, you can just skip them like that. But it's 300 po Empire points per quest, so careful with that. And only level 40. And I think that's all. There's new, van new vanity, but it's only PvP. So if you want to go play PvP, you got a guide. Read the guide. <laughs> I, I, I think through what I've read, there's some very important notes. So read that. I did not read it completely. So check it out. I think it's nice. The skip button. I It works as you can see. That's okay. I like that because there are some quests I don't really want to do. But I don't think I want to skip through everything. It's just gonna cost me a lot of points. Oh god. How many points do I have to pay? 3000 points just to get even more actually because those levels are going higher. 3000, like over 3000 points just to get over the Athens quest. Oh god. I don't want to do that <laughs> anymore. So yeah, I showed you. It works if you want to. It's gonna cost you. So careful with that. I think it's better to just beat the quest. At this, oh, at this point. Yeah, but who wants to spend the time? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so yeah, one more time. So, incursion should be easier. I recommend checking Opus. There have been some other things changed, but I don't remember everything. I think I showed the main skip button. Small flagship mentioned, yeah. The treasuries for Celts and Norse, and no longer can play golf. Yeah, I think I mentioned everything. So thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.